This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on Web Development 2, Level 15, Eventful Selectors. Goals. Strike through at least three items, three list items. Bold one of the H2s. When an event function is called, it adds a variable called this. Ooh, this is going to be tough. When used with jQuery object, it selects the speci specific element that it was called on. All right, we're going to work through this together. So... Lots of instructions. I'm sure they help. So you should probably read those. All right. Um, toggle the class bold on the clicked H2. What on earth does that mean? All right. Well, we've learned some functions. I bet we need to use toggle class. Toggle the class bold on the clicked H2. So dollar parentheses also accepts this as an argument. This, when inside of an event function, is the specific target for this event. Look at the toggle striked for an example. All right. Oh, see what they're doing here? So whenever a striked is run, whatever launches it. So we'll say the function is launched by a click or a hover over. Whatever launches it, oh, if you hover over I, toggle strike function runs, this will be strike through. So then that would mean the I will be strike through. Whatever is the, the key to setting it off is what this is going to reference. So that's what I want to do here. I'm going to use a dollar sign. I'm going to use parentheses and this. And then what do I want to do? Toggle. Toggle class bold colon and what's bold gonna do if you go down here right if I look down here I already have this so in between script and script is all of my code style to style is all of my CSS so let's see what what I have what uh, class CSS class or HTML class is bold it's this one and it's gonna well make our font bold huh okay now, H2, on click, toggle bold. So they already have that set. Let's see. Strike through, boom. So what runs strike through? Strike through is this class. So what this function is doing, and notice H2 on click. So whenever we run H2, what do we mean by H2? Oh, look, we made this variable here. H2 is set equal to whatever is H2 in the HTML. So down here. Okay. And H2 is the second biggest heading. That's an H2. That's an H1. That's an H2. And that's what's going to be impacted by our code. All right. So H2 on click toggle bold. Toggle bold. What that does is give a class to whatever we just clicked on. And the class it gives is bold. And what's the bold class do? Well, it bolds stuff, right? And we could increase the font size, right? What's the striked class do? So when this function runs, whatever we clicked on is forced, which is what's referenced by this, is toggled class strike. So their HTML now has a strike. I could do this as well just by writing down here. It will have it forever, but class equals strike, or is it striked? Yeah, so notice Newt's eye is now already striked. What we're doing is providing that class on a click. Anyways, that is the code that worked. You need to get this though, so make sure if you're not sure yet, go back, listen to this again. It will make some weird sense eventually, I promise. Let me just hit run one more time to set us up. And onward we go.